Hello, and welcome to Friends of Engen on YouTube. We start this video with the message of peace for everyone in this world, particularly those who are suffering unimaginable circumstances. Today, we are treated to a glimpse of Engen Akurik's personality as he's told us through an interview. We hear his personality traits gleaned from a conversation with Aisha Arman in April 2021. A quick note, the online translations you may be seeing are not perfect, but they allow us global reach. Therefore, please disregard any imperfections. Share specific captions and subtitles language requests in video comments. And as always, if you like what you see, show it with comments and likes so that we continue to produce more. And now, Engen Akrik's personality, as he told us through an interview. Time and again, we have witnessed examples of Engen's righteousness, whether it is through the projects he has chosen, such as the famed Fatma Gulen Suchune, or in the conversation we cite today. He said, if we seek mercy, if we rebel against injustice, if we want to live in a conscientious society, if we are against violence against women, we will change first. We will be the people we want. He was responding to a question that asked if he was tired of living in a world that has lost its kindness and purity. When asked if he is pretending to be humble in the wake of all the local and international frenzy over him, he exclaimed, I think I should get an Oscar if I'm playing humble. I do my job. To be loved, to be admired, to receive attention is at the core of this job. The feeling that invites you to this profession is to be liked and approved. But all this does not require you to indulge. He further explained that he finds it funny in 2021 at the time to be spoiled where we are in an age of professionalism in the business. He reminded Aisha that success in Turkey and abroad is not only dependent on him, rather the story has the power of the project. He said, you play as well as you want. If your story is bad, it won't make any difference. His refreshing honesty that we hear in these statements has been twisted time and again by the media. But when you hear the direct quote in full context, it makes perfect sense that our lovely Engen is simply being his honest, humble self. On the subject of having no formal acting training, Engen's hard-working, persevering nature shines through. He said, I think knowing, learning, and being educated is not a disadvantage. How you relate to all this is important. I disagree with shallow thoughts such as, education kills natural playfulness, or the cynics always play themselves, they cannot become someone else. You can break them with your own determination and work. Speaking on his past experiences and the opportunity to work with industry greats, Engen commented with awe that as a youth of just 21 years of age, it was like seeing the kitchen of the business. You learn to be disciplined, to love your role, to be patient. You may not feel these at the moment, but as the years pass, he said, a light shines on you. They are among the most valuable players this country has produced. Engen introduced his cat, Fayaz, in this interview, sharing the details of how and when they met. He lovingly explained that Fayaz was born in his garden, along with two other siblings. When the others left, Fayaz stayed behind, and the rest is history. He is very fond of me. He's been seeing me since he was born. I guess I'm just a big cat to him. I'm his everything. We all know of Engen's deep, intelligent, and reflective side. We hear it each time he ponders something verbally for more than half a minute. Where does it begin? In this sitting, he explains his thorough knowledge of Turkish comes from reading a lot. He allows us a glimpse into his mind. He quotes, Reading allows me to be somewhere else, in another world. Literature is one of the greatest discoveries of mankind. 
At the time of the interview, he answered, the last thing he had read and loved was Shepherd of Orphan Trees by Ismail Guzelsoy, a dreamy, magical, fairy tale like love story. This view into his beautiful mind is such a treat. When asked to elaborate on the earnings for his book Sesizlik, being designated to the prestigious institution Darushapaka, Engin enthusiastically replied, I specifically wanted it. I went for an event, was very impressed. It's an awesome school. They are raising brilliant youngsters. The entire world knows that when it comes to Engin, the word humble comes to mind. Once again, as he was asked what fame means to him, this was clear from his answer. Fame can be a result of your work, but it shouldn't be a target. If it is, the end could be disastrous. So you see, in just a few excerpts from a much longer, much more insightful conversation with Engin, we're witness to his beautiful personality traits, ranging from observant and thoughtful to loving, kind, honest, and empathic, reflective, plus, of course, intelligent. And the list goes on and on. It's no secret why he is among the most loved men by people all over the world. The important thing to keep in mind is not what we see of the beautiful man we know he is, but to know the beauty of our Engen through the things that he is not. Thank you for watching and for your support. We promise to bring interview segments more in the future. If you liked this video, please don't forget to let us know. We'll see you next time. Take care.